Whether Iqbal Mohammed Rahimi can feed and house his family depends on this. Rahimi has more than 100 sheep and goats to his name. And keeping them in the best health possible is a top priority. We're just trying to do basic veterinary science, deworming, vaccination. If we can treat their animals and their production, the farmer's production can increase, they can sell their animal for a better price. So they can actually gain more money by uh, having their animal you know, get to a larger size or maybe get a little fatter, put on a little more weight. Rahimi heard through the grapevine that International Security Assistance Forces and Afghan Ministry of Agriculture, Irrigation and Livestock officials were tending to local animals outside the Hanishin Castle walls. He traveled four hours one way to come here and meet with animal specialists. A trek only recently made possible due to the security and safety Marines and Afghan forces maintain in the region. This is something the Taliban can't provide. So being able to deworm, being able to provide healthy animals is something the Taliban can't provide, but we can. So it's a, it's a good way to show that we're trying to partner with the community to build healthy and stable communities for these people to live in. The fact that a veterinary civil action program is even possible here speaks volumes for the level of stability in the Rig district and the surrounding community. Marines and Afghan National Army continue to work tirelessly to ensure locals are able to provide for their families free from insurgent threat. The VEDCAP serves as an example of what can happen when Afghan and coalition forces work together for a better future. <laughs> Reporting from Hanishin Castle, Rig District, Helmand Province, I'm Corporal Jen Calloway, Marine Expeditionary Brigade, Afghanistan.